Yo, what is up you guys? Another day in the city. Heading to uh, to work actually. Gonna hit a few hours of work. Uh, rip a game real quick. And on my way, I just found this more private area to cut through, but then I found this amazing shot of the tower. I know I keep showing the tower, but why not? You never know what new person's gonna watch this video. So this is like some buildings where people work and stuff. And then right in the middle you got tower looking crazy it's a little bit smoggy but it's a beautiful bluebird today it is so hot in toronto it's like 30 degrees and very humid but you know what after all these years living here i'm super used to it i can handle it it's like i used to get let me talk to the camera i used to get so when i first moved here i couldn't handle the humidity i could not handle the heat I used to get so, like, just so gross and sweaty, just all up in the crotch, the pits, the t-shirt, my forehead, just, I wanted to invent like a, a wiper for the for hats, like a, like a windshield wiper for hats. And uh, it doesn't happen anymore, but I do sabotage myself. As you can see, I'm wearing all black. And I am wearing a long sleeve, which was stupid of me, but in the sense of like, Here's my predicament that always happens uh, when I try to like dress for the weather. I know I should be like in shorts and stuff. I'm not really a shortsy guy, okay? Some people like to wear shorts. I just rock pants. The other thing too is I'm on my way to work. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not gonna be done work till 7 p.m. roughly. And then it's Saturday night and I might go do something. And I don't wanna carry like all these changes of clothes and stuff. So I basically wore what I would wear tonight. When the sun dips, and it's gonna be nice out, and you know, everybody's out trying to have a good time. I just wanna look the part for a Saturday night, so I just kinda of wore all black and shit like that. So, I mean, that's kinda of just where it's at with that on the wardrobe. But wow, this view is absolutely insane, and I'm gonna to have to snap a few for the, uh, off the iPhone real quick, so I'll check back with you momentarily. I'll say this though, before I do go out tonight, cause I do kinda of wanna go get some drinks and hang out with friends, the season is short lived. What I am saying is this, once again, after work, I probably want to go and find somewhere to crush, just like a unique little treat for you guys. Like, I don't know where yet, I'm still de debating it, but that's the beauty of the city is at any moment I can just, you know, figure something out. There's, got, there's somewhere close that has something cool in all directions, so... Uh, that's what I kind of want to do later, I want to go maybe eat something and kind of just jam with you guys again like we did on the lake but just in a different setting and so i guess i'll see you when that happens but along the way i'll probably get some other shots some stuff but yeah if anything cool happens i'll let you know but yeah i just had a very weird thing occur i went to the bank to grab some money because i need to bring like a float to work server life uh but uh we were in the bank and the bank machines None of them for anybody for anybody would dispense any money. So everybody's like, what the fuck? Like new world order, apocalyptic. Like none of us had ever experienced a bank machine not being able to give you any money, like at the actual like branch, you know, the headquarter type shit. So it wasn't like some ATM, right? It was like at the actual bank with like four ATMs and everybody's cards being like declined, like can't won't dispense you cash. And in that moment I'm just like thinking like eventually one day when the new world order really does take over like that'll be a thing like everybody's gonna go to like get cash and like money is just gonna not exist and then, and then you're gonna be like well i'm fucked and just everybody is gonna be uniformly fucked all at once i don't know when or whatever but i feel like it's gonna happen at some point but maybe i'm just paranoid which is probably the case but you know what i mean it felt weird okay don't judge me it felt weird Definitely uh, tourist season in the city for sure. Toronto City Tours, baby. It's also wedding season. On days like today, especially on Saturdays, Sundays, you see people out in their on, in like their Sunday's best. A lot of church bells ringing. But I like wedding season. It is it has a good vibe to it. Absolutely. Also, I take back what I said earlier. I am very sweaty in bad places. Okay. Again, no judging. Back in another bank. Success, we got greenbacks, baby. The world is not going to hell in a handbasket quite yet. Also, is anybody else this guy? 
at the bank, just checking other people's leftover receipts. I'm always such a nosy little bitch when it comes to like, oh, what's their balance? There she is, needle in the sky. We are very close. If this thing was to topple over right now, we would be dead 100% and it would take out, I don't think I could dodge it. Okay, just a thought, daily thoughts. I met a friend on my outing guys. Let me tell you, this guy, this guy fucks for sure. This guy gets enough play per season. Speaking of that, I'll put this as subtly as I can, but there's a lot of thick behavior out in the streets right now. Very thick. Triple C, thick. Just saying. Just finished up. Trying to figure out my next move for the night. Food, drinking, friends, YouTube. Not sure. Hard to decide. Only time will tell. Just got out of the game and there's this little dude. He's ripping it. He's trying to busk on the street playing violin. And he's killing it. I respect the hustle, my guy. He just needs a speaker. But he's actually good. Killed it. This guy is so sick. Yes. He's the best. Look at him. Oh my god. There's this dude over here. I'm like on the other side of this sign. And he's just been ripping bombs the whole time. But like, there's just like crowds of people, like children, families. And he's just out ripping bongs, but he's like 50 probably. And but he's like kind of normal, but now he's super baked and just being weird. And all these people, just every single person looks at him. It's so funny. Low key, on some creep shit. This is the guy. <laughs> oh shit, almost got busted. Now I'm the weirdo. All right, complete change of plans. Here's what's gonna happen. I got a bottle from the store, from the liquor store, just back there. I'm gonna head out, because my friends can't meet for a little bit still. So I wanna just go to a park, have a couple drinks, and maybe just like, kind of shoot the shit on camera, have like a sketchy park drink, you know what I mean? When I say sketchy park drink, I mean completely legal. It is legal now. Uh, there was battles before, but it's legal. And in the summertime, people just constantly do it. Like a park is where people drink all the time. So I'm gonna go do that and then uh, maybe just like share some thoughts. 
get a little uh, summer buzz, and then figure out what the rest of my night. Uh oh. Somebody getting pulled over? Not sure. Maybe. Cannot quite tell. But I think the answer is yes. Someone's in trouble. Very popular area of the city to go out and get drunk and do shit. Later tonight, like, you know, come 2 o'clock in the morning, this shit will be just full jam-packed of, like, young people getting wasted and fights, like, a lot of weird stuff. Approaching the most classic depot for supplies, for random fading supplies. 7-Eleven, of course. Parks right across the street, right through there. I'll meet you in there. Not sure what the lights are gonna be like on this. Looks pretty good. Entering the park. It's a whole ass vibe in here right now. This whole field is just full of people just drinking. Let's see if we can scope it out. Humans, humans. Drinking everywhere. So there's like this whole field over here, all filled with people. As far as you can see. And then in the trees, more of the same. And a Tibetan hat. Nice. Dig that. I'll have to come here in the daytime and vlog it out. So it's pretty crazy, man. Pretty interesting. There's always a ton of people in here, definitely in the summertime. Dogs, just sports, drinks, lots of stuff. Is that DJ? Down there is where all the dogs play in the daytime. It's called the Dog Bowl. But maybe we'll do that in a daytime thing someday. Turn the skate, skate, uh, or sorry, the skating rink into a skating, uh, like, I don't know, skate park, I should say. Frisbee, Frisbee gets hella ultimate around here. That is one thing I can say for sure. Very ultimate. Auto collector. <laughs> All right, well, what up? I'm back. I switched uh, off to the iPhone because I actually have a tripod for it. I'm using my other camera usually, but I'm in this area of this, the park that actually has lights or lighting, so you can actually kind of see me. Behind me is a ton of graffiti. So, anyways about being a drinking MacGyver and listen here here's the thing let me get in close for you on this one I know what you're thinking I, I, you're thinking dude like how, what would make you just go drink alone in a park and uh, you know there's got to be an issue there it's like there's a problem that's weird but here's the thing in this city, or in a city maybe in general, it's like when you leave your area and you're gonna go and do other admissions, like I'm gonna meet up with friends in like two hours. And it's like a beautiful night and you have this at your disposal. Like I just worked and I'm like, okay, well I can't meet up with them yet. And to be honest, it's way cheaper just to get a bottle, get a nice drink on, then go meet your, your your people out in like two hours or whatever and then you're already pretty much buzzed you even have some like backpack drinks for later after you're done hanging out wherever you go hang out but they might even just we might even end up just staying like meeting here i don't know that's the thing it's like we don't know for sure yet but good chance we'll end up at a bar for a bit have a couple of drinks there like a local whatever and then at somebody's house usually and then i that's when i bust out the rest of this bottle and i'm like oh like i got a fucking bottle but 
anyways, what I'm trying to say is, I know it seems unorthodox, and I know it seems weird. I want to say two things on that. First things first, spending time with yourself is not the big of a deal. Having a couple drinks by yourself while you're just like kind of observing and people watching and just de-stressing and chilling, really not that weird. Learning to spend time yourself, spend time with yourself, is actually a very healthy, good thing. So there's that. The next shit I'm gonna say is this. Some of my most prized nights living in this city are like this, exactly like this. They play out exactly like this. It's like, I went to my job, I worked for a few hours, made a couple hundred bucks, don't really know what's going to happen have like a few texts on the line a couple pockets of humans that i know not really sure these people oh we're this or that maybe oh gonna be in town later party later this that not really sure what's on the line do you see how many i don't even know how how much of it how much of a view you got of it but there's a gang of people in this park there's tons of to me to me that means then definitely the more drunk i get to me that means the more random possibilities there are for like random outcomes especially as like a pretty social outgoing person like once i have a few drinks I, if i start cruising around maybe ask somebody for a smoke next thing you know i'm having a conversation next thing you know i'm sitting on their in on their blanket in their circle next thing you know i'm making them laugh next thing you know i don't know but you know what i mean i'm just trying to say like some of my best most prized nights in this city have been nights just like this go to work beautiful day get off kind of floating around not really sure a couple friends here a couple friends there figuring it out i i have like solo drinks by myself just like kind of in the in the interim in the meantime i get on my level i get on my vibe i get on my like funny guy and shit and then i just go be myself and be random as shit and like go and then find that vibe and then end up with people that you gravitate to you get invited into like other human circles you just meet people next thing you know you're just having this whole new random time and yeah and then that's you know i don't know maybe you meet the next girl that you're gonna date for for whoever long maybe a couple days maybe a week maybe one night i don't know maybe we you know, I've ended up at some crazy condo parties. I've ended up in uh, crazy undergrounds. I've just, just, I've, I've been in a lot of weird scenarios from nights just like this. This is how they start. So, in a weird way, here's my justification. If you're judging me for doing such a thing, is like, this is weirdly my vibe. This is like my element. This makes me feel pretty like more alive. Like having that random potential to like go from like a single one person just doing whatever dicking around waiting for other things to happen and, and then having some drinks by myself and then getting in my vibe and then just like allowing myself to like just magnetize energy and then and just uh, like cap not capitalize on it but just be in the moment right like super spontaneous and random and this is how like all those stories I tell on my channel, this is how they come to be, a lot of them is just really random, you know, drinking behavior. So yeah, I guess you're getting a glimpse into into that. So I don't know, hopefully you can understand it. But at the end of the day, I, I really still feel like there's nothing wrong with spending a little time with yourself. But at the same time, I'm kind of not, I feel like I'm not exactly by myself. I'm, I, I'm having this dialogue with like all these people in mind like all the like, you know the mislays view this gets 5,000 views or whatever like you know that's 5,000 people that I could be having this dialogue with technically like that you're you're not here but you're kind of here in spirit you're, you're here in the like the sort sort of like your being out there and viewing me is what's structuring even this conversation right now so it's like it's like you're here it's like i am kind of hanging out with an audience of people right it's just that you're not actually physically here but because you exist and you watch me it's sort of dictating the energy here for me right now like you being a viewer is dictating my energy currently so it's kind of you know what i mean you know what i'm trying to say so anyways 
but yeah I'm just gonna vibe out here for a while get a little bit of a fade on and then uh, I have uh, a sneaking suspicion that once I'm at a certain level I'll probably go kind of find ways to navigate myself into some pockets and then you know maybe go on a little adventure either way I still have friends coming to meet but it's just like that's not for another hour and a half at this point so it's like things can happen during that time and then once that happens once we link up we'll probably meet other people as well so I don't know we'll just see what happens and that's really the best philosophy about life that I can say is this we'll see what happens because you really don't know what's gonna happen you could try your best to control 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 and certainly you can make decisions that you know give you some sort of semblance of control and lead you to believe that you have control but you know there's so many things that just circumstantially are not gonna go the way that you want and you have to learn to just adapt and move with that and so you know in that sense that's I like being a, like I'm a chameleon like that and I have no plan for life really like I have general maps and ideas and things and you know I like to be more structured in my planning and I think I'm getting into a place like that as I get a little bit older here but I don't know it's just like you can't really like you can plan life but you can't really plan like life has its own sort of hidden agenda it's like you you can make steps and choose steps in certain directions so that's for sure and apply yourself and apply the pressure in certain directions which I that's more where I'm at is I just know the directions that I want to apply pressure it in ooh, the alcohol burps but uh, you know even though you're applying those pressures and being consistent life will throw weird things into the path to deflect you and it will it will ricochet you in certain ways unexpected ways that you didn't plan for so yeah I mean if I keep all this in this is gonna be a very long video so at this point I'm gonna cut it now and uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll check back in with some more drunk thoughts, but as right, as for right now, that's that's a not drunk thought, by the way, that's a one drink thought, but it's just me like in flow state, rambling about life and things, and, and uh, yeah, because to be honest, I was walking around today and all day, I was, I, there was so many things I was witnessing and observing, and uh, so many like little funny thoughts and little things that I, w I wanted to like address on the vlog but it's like they're so fleeting and I don't know it's like you can't catch them in the moment so they just like kind of go by the wayside and this is what's happening now inside me this is the energy that's coming out now rather than back then when the, the camera was off and I was just like oh that would be good to talk about later oh that would be fun to talk about later but this is what's happening now so here I am again checking with another thought it's like this on some really really real shit there's a fucking guy in a wheelchair that does not seem equipped for grass playing uh, ultimate frisbee in a wheelchair with a person who is full body equipped and this dude is going hard in the paint and it's like what? <laughs> like, I'm awestruck, inspired like crazy. And it's just like, I feel like there's so many people in the world, and I'm even one of them. I'll admit it. I'm a fucking complainy pants ass little bitch a lot of the times. Trying to be fucking down and out and down on myself. And this is the shit that makes me be like, wow, I fucking suck. Like, come on, dude. Like, there's so many people that can't even get out for a little exercise, a little run, a little whatever. And like this dude is in a wheelchair and he's playing ultimate frisbee in the grass and he makes me feel inspired first also like a piece of shit also like i fucking suck at life and that's the thing is like okay check this out
You can't tell me this shit isn't impressive. Look at, he's doing 360s and shit. Like, tell me for one second that this shit is not impressive. This, t and, okay, also, I see, and then just hard labor, hard labor. But you know what? His throws are sick, by the way. He's in it. He's in it for the love of the game. Like he's out here truly doing the thing that really gets him revved up and wants to live his life to the fullest. Like he's do like look at he's. Well, you can't see him right now, but he was just crouching in like pain. You could tell he's hurting. His arms, his wrists, everything. Also, there's a little dog here. Hello, sir. No, nah, it's all good. Nah, he added to it. It's, yeah, on some, it's, it's, it's on a vlog thing, so it's like... Oh, it's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, so it's just like him coming in. It's like, hey, what's up? Yeah, it was added to the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you too. See? Life. Ha see? That's what I'm saying well, earlier. Life happens. You just sit here... Life happens, just met this dude, he's out walking his dog and shit, but who knows what could happen if that was a, a crew of people walking by that had a dog, or a cute honey, oh, don't say that, <laughs> why did I say that? If it was a cute woman, a nice looking girl, walking by, and she, you know, maybe she was a little bit buzzed too, maybe she had a couple, a couple, uh, you know, seltzer sodas, and was walking her dog but you know she had some intentions to go harder she had to take the dog for a little poor pee and then he was gonna stay home and she was gonna go out and party and maybe i could have been invited to that party that's what i'm saying the random possibilities and all this time we're just talking about this man's in the wheelchair which back to him equals just makes me feel like a piece of shit it's like it's like what am i i ain't shit compared to somebody like that are you kidding me if that happened to me I promise you I'd be a slob in bed, Netflix and chilling, chilling. Unless I was ordering over hooks, because I was on using my disability for hooks. But do you, you know that but that would be my mindset. Like I wouldn't be I'm not already the guy out here floating around like a ballerina in the park catching all these frizz, like you know, like I'm pretty not La you know I'm pretty lazy not lazy I'm not lazy because I walk everywhere I work like on the feet jobs and stuff like that outside of these YouTube camera jobs and shit but it's just I'm saying this I'm not one to like get out there and really move the you know the mechanical body to its fucking true fruition of exp this doesn't make sense but you know what I'm trying to say I don't use my body to its full potential which I should more but it's just I don't know it's not it's not in my nature I wasn't born with it like it's more Maybelline for me like isn't it but do you know what I'm saying like I wasn't born I really well I mean I was see here's where I'm conflicted because I kind of was it's like I was sportsy growing up and I was a lot of soccer and things but I've always had kind of like some asthmatic things and get all red in the face and more high blood pressure-y even when I was like 13 I used to get tomato red at soccer and I was like a good soccer player and my mom was like I just it feels like your body wants to die like your face looks death like it looks like Italian past tomato death when you do exercise and I'm like I feel similar, I feel dizzy, I feel pass outish, I feel weak, I feel this, that, and the other, but it's also, it's like, I feel like I had a lot of fun playing soccer, and I don't want to quit, because I fucking love it, and according to doctor, it's like, there's nothing wrong with you, it's just that I get all high blood pressure, so maybe it's just, that's just my body type, I don't know, getting so, not that, that there was a track here at all, I don't think there is a track, this is exactly the track I'm talking about. Just get faded and be different and be weird and find energies and whatever. <laughs> Conversely, there's this other frisbee crew and this one guy smoking a dart while throwing the frisbee. So he's not really in it to win it. And it really actually rings accurate because I was about to talk shit on him earlier and this goes back to the man in the wheelchair. The wheelchair dude, because he's in a wheelchair, has, has perfected his throws 
right? To where he's like sick. His throws are accurate as shit, I wanna say 98% of the time. Whereas his 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 throwing friend chucks the fucking disc and it misses wheelchair dude almost you know, I wanna say 72% of the time. And so wheelchair man has to like be intense, right? And I'm like Maybe get a better throwing partner, but I, I get it's challenging you, but maybe get a better throwing partner. Cause like, but, but that's the thing. It's like this, it's like, because of his disability, it's made him become so much more able at a thing. He's like, well, my throws are gonna be sick as shit. And then Ability Boy, smoking Ability Boy, and now that I look at him, it seems like he's kind of drunk, to be honest. He's swaggering and swaying and spitting. He's throwing all these misses and curves to the dude in the wheelchair, which is making his life uh, quite much harder than it needs to be. So, anyways, observations. I'm just saying it's weird how sometimes you get taken an ability away, makes you hone in on some other shit. When you're a full grown operating human, you take shit for granted and advantage of, and you don't do shit about anything and you just become a sloppy pile of Okay, I'm going too far. I'm not I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying a lot of people it's when you don't have what everything that you need is when you hone in and get better. But those of us who who have our whole granted bodies are more okay with being less. Food for thought. It's this. This is the best shit. Two dogs in the front of like a carousel bike with this song playing. Can you see me? Hope you can see me. While we're at that point where I gotta go, I'm heading to my friend's place. I got the text, I'm on route, I'm heading out. Just took a pee behind this can here. Had a laugh with these random guys. But yeah, let's say, say goodnight to the city, to the CN Tower, because it's a sick view from here. It's gonna be granulated as shit, but whatever. Y'all, yeah, goodnight, Mr. Tower. Raptors red and purple. I guess I'm just rolling with that for the whole time, but pretty dope. Okay, it's the next day. I got fully faded, had a crazy night. Now, I went to the pool. I met some cool ass motherfuckers, and one of them is skating right now. So I'm at a skate park. Tell me how this is a thing. It's a toe vibe. That's my man's right there. Say what up. Say what up. Yeah, yeah. It's legit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Say what up. To, say what up to fifty thousand. What up, fifty thousand? <laughs> We're in the city now. Hey. Big time hit a licky now. Hey, he's flipping the rhymes though. That was legit though. My man's. Fifty thousand. We in the city now. I don't know if you can see the sea and towel. But it's over there. Oh yeah. Anyways, that's my life.